And we're now joined here on FaceTime by winner of yesterday's VizCom 200 from Michigan, Michael Self. Michael, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Enjoying the day, relaxing after a big win last night and kind of taking it all in, um, hanging out back in North Carolina and enjoying it. <laughs> definitely. That's definitely what you need to do after a win. So just talk us through that day. Um, you had them pretty well covered there for most of the day, and then Majeski had his whole pit strategy at the end that almost screwed you up. So uh, just talk us through that day for you. Yeah, a really solid day for the 25 St. Clair Oil team as a whole. Uh, we had a really, really good car in practice that we felt really solid about. Um, didn't have to make a whole lot of changes, which is kind of nice. Shannon and the guys had the car really close to where we wanted to be right off the truck, so we just kind of got to fine-tune things. Um, then our qualifying lap was pretty awesome too. Um, I think they, they told me that that's the fastest lap ever recorded at a non restricted play track in wow. ARCA history. So that's pretty, pretty special for me. Um, it's the first time I've held the, held it wide open around the track other than Daytona and Talladega. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, it felt good to get our third pole of the season and then we just executed how we need to, how I felt like we should have been executing the last couple of weeks. I mean, I feel like we put on the same kind of performance that we put on at, at Charlotte a couple of weeks ago. We just were able to finish this one out, which feels good because Charlotte has stung so bad after we dominated that race um, and lost that one within 10 laps to go. This definitely felt like a little bit of a rebound from that. And then obviously some struggles last week at Pocono. Uh, this helps overcome that kind of stuff and hopefully get our momentum going back the right direction. So just really happy with how the day went and, and excited for everyone on our, our 25 team. Well, you talked a little bit about it. How much of a rebound is this really for you after the race you maybe should have won in Charlotte and then after just the, the bad day you had in Pocono? How much did you need a rebound like this? Yeah, I, I think any driver that you talk to wants to put those bad days out of out of their mind, and there's no better way to do that than by picking up a win and by having a dominating performance and a day where everything goes kind of like it did yesterday because – it just reassures me there hasn't been one track that we've showed up at this year that we haven't had speed or that we haven't been at the top of the charts at. And that just speaks so much to the guys building the 25 cars. Um, you know, we just got a little bit off kilter, I thought, with how, um, you know, with some of the bad luck like we had there at Pocono with some of the issues um, that we had mechanically there. And no, you know, it was no fault of any of our guys or anything. It was just bad luck. And so um, to, to rebound and to go do what we've, know that we're capable of doing and to completely execute throughout the entire day and through the race that feels really good because from a momentum standpoint you know that's a race that you highlight and look at and go that's what we need to do you know we did it at michigan that's what we need to do going forward now with this being your sixth win now in arca i got to look at through some stats last night i don't know if you realize this yet but you're now the winningest active driver in arca right now so um tell us what that means to you uh, I don't know. I didn't realize that, but uh, to be honest, I just just want to go get more. I mean, mm -hmm. I just want to keep climbing up and getting more wins, and that's, I don't know. I mean, that's a cool stat, I guess, but definitely uh, just something I want to add on to. Definitely. So, lastly here, Madison coming up this week. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, your first time at Madison. So, uh, tell us what you're expecting out of that. Yeah, I don't really know. I, I mean, I've got to sit down and watch some video, maybe watch the past races throughout this week. Um, talk to Christian a little bit, you know, he's been there a couple times and he's raced there before and talk to Chandler if I can, obviously he dominated that race pretty well last year and just see what I can figure out. It's kind of a, you know, it's a one day show. We haven't done any testing there, so it'll be kind of short and to the point, um, on Friday and our, our short track program has been pretty solid, you know, knock on wood. Hopefully we can pick up, uh, where we were at Salem and, and where we were at Pensacola earlier this year and, um, put a strong, strong points, uh, points a day or a strong day overall together there and then go on back to the big tracks at Gateway Chicago Land, which I'm really excited about. All right. Well, Michael Self, your winner from Friday's VizCom 200 from Michigan. Michael, thanks for joining us and congrats on that third win this season.